Good morning, people. Let's go check the lines. You ready? No, you're not. You need your vest on. I got snacks. You do have snacks. But I don't have. To, I shouldn't have to hear anything, right? Unless I have to pee. Uh, and Chelsea just spotted out down the creek. We got other kayakers, and they're right near some of my lines. It looks like they're just enjoying themselves. It doesn't look like they're messing with our lines because they would have pulled this one, and I think there's one on this one. I think we have a fish on this one. Really? Yeah. They're going in your boat, right? Yeah. Why? You don't want them in yours? No, I'm wearing flipper floppers. Oh, good lord. You puss. All right, the first one is empty. I thought there was a fish on it, but nope. Man, they're fishing. I really hope the fishing gets better than this because this is ridiculous. This is our second time. Normally, I already have a fish in by now. Yeah, I, I did forget that we did get two already, but still, we normally always get two each run we go. And also, uh,. <laughs> I forgot the net. So, this is gonna be interesting. There might be another vlog of me losing a fish. To be honest, I don't even think they noticed them. If they did, they probably just left them alone. They didn't look like they were doing anything other than bluegill fishing or whatever you call it. Pan fishing. You know, I would be happy if we just got one. We gotta, we gotta go to that one creek that guy told us about. Which one? I don't remember. Good job. Uh -huh. Yep. But I did look at the map and there were better areas. Really? You just pushed yourself. Why didn't you just go on the other side of me? You were running me into trees. Yeah, I ran you into the trees. That's exactly what I was doing. How did that jug get over here? Maybe there's one on it. I know, but you mean to tell me a fish is that strong to pick up that heavy of weight and move it across the... Think about water and weight. I know, but I still, that's kind of weird. Water. Yeah, there's definitely a fish on this one. We had it over here. It made it across the creek. All the way over there. Holy crap. Well, all the ones we... If we don't get any fish, we're going to rebait them one more time and uh, see what happens. I'm telling you, this, this third shift, they're, they're spending it's too much time soaking. I think that's what it is. That's why we're... I think we're losing fish because it's too much time soaking. Because that's what people do. They'll cut it, take the, take the fish, drop the weight in the water, and leave the jug right there. Yeah, because that's not where we put that jug. We put that jug over there. Yeah, there's no, there is no way that thing had, that is brand new line. Well, yeah, come look at the... yeah, let me see if it, if it, if, is it frayed or a smooth cut? Smooth cut. Smooth cut. Oh, yeah, I can see it from here. That's a smooth cut. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely a smooth cut. I'll take that back with us. I need to just pick up the rest of them. Yeah, I think that's what we should do. Pick up, just pick them up. We'll pick up these when we come back. Probably, we're not going to be able to leave anything during the day. We're going to have to wait till I get off of work if it's going to keep on going like this. Yep. <sighs> we'll have to go back to set months. There's no way we'll be able to jug. While yeah, we can't. We can't jug while not being able to keep an eye on it. I just, I hate that. Why? Why? Easily, do... someone could have come out here at six o'clock in the evening, gone down. I mean, that's true. Or it could have been this morning, early this morning. Oh, I'm not gonna try to let it get to me and me ruin a good day. But I, I do think that's kind of, you know, disrespectful. If, if you say, now, I can understand that there's no number on the jugs, no tag, no nothing, but everything's placed, organized, got numbers on them, so clearly we would be back. That's, that's what, that, I'm just not even going to say any more about it. Yep, this one has no bait either. You know, I'm thinking that blue, that blue girl theory might be, might be a little percentage of it, but now after seeing that line, they probably couldn't get the hook out and cut it. I mean, just take the whole dang thing. I just, I just don't understand that. But I mean, thank you for leaving my stuff. I still got to put a weight on there and everything, but still, that's just. I know, exactly. That right there is another reason why I don't spend a lot, where a lot of people will spend a lot of money trying to figure out the perfect jug. This is the reason why I pay a dollar for for my Gatorade on a hot summer, save up the bottles and make, you know, make, what? 
one right here by this tree? I'm thinking that's the one that was floated over there. That's what I'm saying. The, the jugs aren't where they, they were. So they were probably floating. If, if someone did take our stuff, which I'm after seeing that line cut, I'm assuming someone did. They were probably still floating with the creek when they were trying to get the fish off and then just, just drop the gear on the edge and assume that we didn't remember where we put our stuff. Yeah, we have them right here. Because why would that one jug that was across the creek be over where that other jug is? They probably were headed that way, clinging off that jug, and then just dropped it right there, had a problem getting that fish off the other one, and cut it. Chelsea thinks we might actually have one. It doesn't look like we have one, it just looks like it made it through. You would know by now, it would have bumped you. This one's still baited though. Still baited? See, now that really makes me wonder, Dan. That really drops that percentage up. That was kind of cool. I don't even know if I got that on camera. What was it? I, I, hell if I know. It was definitely a, a four pound or whatever it was. Yeah, that one still got the bait on it. That really puts that whole bluegill. Because sometimes the bluegill will eat off your bait if you set your lines too early. Let's do that. Let's see if I can catch anything while I'm floating down. Uh, <laughs> she's going to have the bait hanging out their kayak. Oh, okay. Get away from me. Oh, good lord. All right, let's go check the rest. You know, if I didn't see... If I didn't see that line cut or anything, I would have assumed the creek had rows. And that's the reason why my jugs moved, because there's a good possibility with that. But the creek's the same depth. We have a line that still has bait on it. All the other lines have no bait, and they've been moved. I don't even think that's... The, no, that's... That's past the bucket. Yeah. That is way past the bucket. And I still think we're, we're missing one. How many? I have two. You have two. I have four. And we're so that. So we're missing two seven. or whatever. No, hold on. That puts us at. Oh, seven. Four. I have two. two. Oh. Yeah, that's six. And then the three over there. That's nine. So we're missing one. We're missing one. A whole day. All right. So we got to go find that one if it's still in here. Yeah, we're thinking we're missing one, like completely. So if they cut that one, it could have went out onto the main river and it's gone, or they took it completely. I just don't understand why they would take one, cut one, and then unhook the rest. That just doesn't make any sense. Now I know for a fact someone touched that one that's cut. There is no way. it. A uh, fish can rub on a rock or a log and cut it off, but yeah, it would have been frayed. But these are brand new lines and that was a clean cut. Big that it snapped it, it still would have done the pool. Yeah. There would have been something, but that was clean. Yeah, that's a clean cut. <sighs> yep, we're missing one. Either it was cut and it's now on the main river, or they no took the whole that. thing. Yeah, there's no getting that jug back. Not if it hit that main river, it could be 100 miles from now. Or 100 miles by now, sorry. You know, I, I'm mad, I'm frustrated, I'm all those feelings, and I'm not, I'm not even going to waste my time saying what I'm sure most of y'all would have on your mind in this situation. Um, but there's only so much you can do when it comes to camouflaging your, your jugs, and, you know, yeah, stuff happens, I just don't... <laughs> uh, but one thing I can say is after thinking about it talking it over with chelsea we may have figured out a game plan a solid game plan to how we can still set our lines or our jugs in areas where people would like to steal your gear our lines are fine you know we're still paranoid about the lines but our lines have been proven to be hidden and not get in anybody's way so that's good that that's all what we need the lines though you got to remember if you put them on a limb if there's a fish on it that limb's going to move so anybody who's looking for people's gear to steal or uh clean off you know that that's probably not a smart thing to do so we're not going to be setting limbs down or setting limb lines down that creek if we go back to that creek we'll be we have a game plan an idea whatever you want to call it We'll be doing some modifications on the jugs. I doubt I will be doing jugs 
again. Uh, I'm just, I've never been a fan of jugs. It seems like every time we go out there and set them, uh, somebody's stealing them. Even if I just have them free floating and I'm following them, I've had people just didn't give a crap and take my gear knowing that I was a uh, s smaller, slower boat and just haul tail down the river and bye. Well, I'm just gonna go out. I'm just gonna keep my, my head up high, execute this idea. And hopefully it's flawless. Because if it is, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I gotta do my research before I say that because I was about to say only the Muddy Vane family would know about it. But somebody else, I know somebody else has probably done it. it it's, it's not that big of a deal. My thing is, has anybody made a video of their idea yet? Ah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be doing some research tonight. But guys, Thank you for coming along. Thank you for watching the vlogs. Like I said, there's going to be some failures, and the best thing to do is just, you know, get up, dust yourself off, and try it again. Just differently, so you don't fall again. <laughs> I will see y'all tomorrow.